Hey guys, it's Alex. Long time no see. Wow. So I have been doing nothing but working these days. Um, Christmas was freaking crazy starting from like um, October till like I don't for those of you who don't know I work for Bath and Body Works. So um, like we have regular Christmas time sales and then we have like the semi-annual sale which the store is crazy so I've been doing like nothing but working um I have three jobs so I have two Etsy shops you guys know my ones that I well those of you that um will watch this video that still follow me because <laughs> since I'm not on here I hardly get any views on anything um when I post a video but for those of you that will watch um, I have my button shop. You guys did know about that. So I've had that since like 2012. That's still going. And then I opened a new shop because you guys remember like my thrifting videos. I used to go to Goodwill, the pay by the pound all the time and I would get such a good deal. And oh my gosh, um, I would resell some things. I would use some things for crafts. I would, um, find stuff to resell in order to pay for my craft stuff. Well, I don't really get to craft a lot these days, uh, but I still love to go thrifting. And um, I had like an awakening one time when one of my friends that worked at the thrift store told me that the stuff that they don't sell um, gets crushed. They just like throw it away. They put it in a crusher and it gets thrown away. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, there's so many good things that I wish I could afford to buy at all but I can't and like save it, you know? So that's part of my um, third shop that I have. Um, I feel like I'm saving um, different vintage items from becoming landfill and sending them to a new home. So that's what I get to do. I still get to go thrifting, not the best price like I would get at Goodwill, but I still get to go and um, find stuff for myself and make a little bit of money in the process. So. That was a very long story as usual, but I just wanted to do this little thrift store haul because that's about all I've been doing. And if you guys are okay with that, then I can do more videos other than like when I get to go metal detecting, um, all I do really is work. So, and this is part of my work, so that's just a plus. So yesterday was Sunday and I actually had the day off and uh, it was raining and it was like 42 degrees here in Florida. So what better than to go thrift shopping, right? So the only thrift store around here that's open is Goodwill. So we went over there and I found a couple of things. So now that you've been staring at them for the past three minutes, I'll show you. <laughs> um, I wasn't going to get this guy here because this is rubbed off. I don't know what that would have said. Um, and I have to see if that will come off right there. But it was $1.18. That's the lowest price that this Goodwill has. There is no more like 59 cents, 76 cents, that's it. So, and the ticket, the sale ticket, they have like every week they'll have one color that'll be 50% off. I never find any of that stuff, it's always gone. So, I got this to try and stick in my shop. So I thought that was cool. And then I saw one of the ladies um, that she was bringing out the bins to bring stuff out and she was holding this vintage Pyrex. This is the butter print pattern. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, can I see that? And she was like, sure. Because anytime I see any kind of Pyrex, they're like 10 to $15, depending on what they are. And I couldn't believe this one was only $2.98. So I snatched it up, even though it doesn't have its lid. So I'll put that in my shop and see what that'll do. Then these... I spotted these because the handles stuck out to me. They kind of remind me of Fiesta wear, um, but they don't say anything on the bottom. And they were $1.18. I was taking their price tags off, but they were $1.18 each. Um, like I said, at the other Goodwill, um, well, maybe the prices have changed since I've been to the pay by the pound, but glass was like 10 cents a pound. So these would have been nothing. But anyways, um, they're like a, a dark, like, navy blue so if anybody recognizes those that'd be cool if you could tell me but the handle definitely reminds me of fiesta wear then i got this bunny i was so excited i'm gonna keep this bunny <laughs> this little handmade someone made it 
Faith made it. It says Faith on the bottom. And it was three bucks. It doesn't have any chips other than like on his little ear right there. There's a little scuff. Um, everything's okay. So I'm gonna keep that for my little Easter display. I don't have a lot of stuff, but yep, I'm gonna keep you, that's mine. And then this came out in one of her bins and I was like, oh yeah, Bianca, grab that. So she grabbed it for me. And of course it's $5.98 because it's Goodwill. I wish it was like a dollar, but yeah, it's, um, carnival glass it's not marked when I looked it up some pieces or some people want to call it Fenton I don't I don't know there's the Fenton ones that I found doesn't really look like this but nevertheless I thought it was pretty and we'll see what happens with that and then at the checkout someone left this cool bird he has a little rubbing on his nose see the little paints come out come has come off his nose and that little red spot is under the glaze. So I'm pretty sure anyway, but I thought he was cool. His tail is okay. Doesn't say anything on the bottom. It was probably, you know, handmade back in the day, but I thought it was neat. So I'm gonna list that in my shop. And then, oh, I can't remember the name of this art. Tanala, I think. Well, they call it Tanala because I want to say that's a city in Mexico, if I'm remembering it right, because that might be the little thing. But these are from like, these fish are from like the 70s. It's folk art. So like artists around town would make it. And, oh, it's heavy, hold on. And that's the artist's signature right there. Alan, I guess. But I thought he was really cool. And he doesn't have like a nick or a chip, anything on him. So that is what I got at Goodwill. I would have never have spent even a third of what I spent on this stuff if I would have been at the pay by the pound, but that's something that I'll just have to live with. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys are okay with seeing thrift videos, not so much crafting because I don't have a lot of time to do that but I do get to do this because I get to do it for my job um you guys let me know and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye